Hello, everyone. My name is Gabriel. I go by Gabe. And today I'm going to be talking about SRA collections and how to work with them, uh, what they are, what purpose they serve, and most of all, how to actually use them um, in, in a practical context. Right? So I only have one slide, which is this one. Hello, uh, I'm Gabe. Uh, you can find me everywhere at, at Gmelody and at Gmelody Cruise, Twitter, I don't know. Uh, Instagram, whatever. Um, and uh, that's basically all the slides I have because I want to jump right into um, S3 collections. And so what S3 is, is the easiest way to upload data to Filecoin. Uh, it's a simple uh, web server that you can just drag and drop files in it. And you can also use the APIs if, if you're programming something. And uh, that's what we're going to be using today. Um, but we're going to be talking mostly about collections because the way S3 worked in the past is it was basically a huge bucket uh, that you threw all your data in. And there was actually no way to uh, organize it all. And collections create a type of directory structure um, where you can organize your files and list files only on one quote unquote folder. Um, and that's basically it. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I, I'm here at this uh, directory. And as you can see, there's, there are three files here. Uh, if I uh, get the content of all those files, file one reads this, I am file one. File two here, sir. Hey there. File three, speak. You can see there's a little typo there on file three. Um, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I have um, an S3 um, node lo running locally just for the sake of this presentation, but it's going to be just the same if you're doing the actual uh, production S3 server uh, or not. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add file one to it. So um, what this command will do is it, it will create a post request to this endpoint uh, slash content slash add. Um, and then I'm going to pass it my API key, which is in this environment variable right here. Um, and then um, I'm going to, there's a lot of headers here that are, that are also important. And then finally, in the data section, uh, I'm going to send it this file, right? And then I'm typing this, to, uh, like the, the response of the request to JQ, which is a nice little um, command line thing that makes colorful stuff uh, you're going to see in a second. So here we go. Um, and so you can see, like, this is nicely well parsed and colored because of JQ. And this is the response we got. Um, so basically, we got a PID. Uh, so what it's doing is it's getting that file one of text and it's creating the DAG, it's giving it a CID. Uh, which is this one, it's giving it an SRA ID and it's telling us what the providers are. Um, and now I'm, I'm going to basically do the same thing with files uh, two and three because we're going to need them to be an S3. So this, this, this is just putting the files on S3. Not, we're not messing around with collections so far, just putting the files on S3 at this point, right? Um, and so all the files. I now an S3, and now we can use this command right here, um, which is hitting again, hitting another endpoint. This time we're hitting slash content slash text, um, and we're doing a get request. So here I'm not um, in the past it was specified post as a post request, and because I'm not specifying the default is get, so we're doing a get request in this endpoint, hit enter, and you can see the three files are, are there, file three, file two, file one, with their respective CIDs and all that. Um, but they're not exactly on the collection. They're just there. And that's um, how we did it in the past. The things were just there. Things were just like in this giant bucket of data that your user owns. Uh, that's it. If you had millions, thousands, or like only a couple files, it worked the same. Um, but as you can, as you can see, this does not scale well in terms of user experience because if you're using you have a bunch of files, then it gets hard to like track down those files. That's, that's the whole reason why directories exist in the first place, right? Um, not just that it's not just an S3 thing. Um, so now 
we're going to use collections. But before we do that, we need to create the collection, right? In order to create a collection, we're going to hit, again, another endpoint. Um, and we're going to give uh, all the commands here. I'm going to put it in um, a cheat sheet um, that it can uh, just query later. Um, and so this time, uh, so don't, don't worry about like copying the commands. It's going to be in a link somewhere uh, soon. So uh, we're doing a post request now on collections slash create. And now we're providing a JSON. So this is JSON data uh, with the name field. So the name of my collection is a new collection. The description of my collection is a new collection test. Uh, and then again, usual headers with my API key, Python to JQ, hit enter. And there we go. We can see it was created at this time. Uh, it, it gets a UUID, which is like a unique ID every collection has. So, and this is very important because this is what we're going to be using to identify our collection. Um, every time we, we talk to API, like, oh, do this, get files in my collection, put files in my collection. Um, all, what, the way we specify our collections is by providing this UUID. So we're going to uh, save it to an environment variable all, I don't know, uh, let's see, collection, lowercase. Uh, I don't actually need it, well, dollar, collection, uppercase. I like it better. And then we paste that, and now we can do echo collection. And there we go, we've got this on our environment variable, just, just, just in case we, um, we scroll super down later and we don't get to see it. All right, so this is um, this is our collection created. It's a empty collection, um, right? Let's let's list the content of this collection really quickly. Let's let's try that. Um, so for that, I'm gonna hit this other endpoint that's collections fs list, and then we specify a call. Uh, as a query argument, and we put it our collection UUID here. And again, type it to JQ, uh, all the fancy stuff. And we can see, uh, because my background is black, but this is really nil. That's not type it to JQ. I'm not typing it. It will not give it like a black uh, color. And we're going to be able to see it. There we go. It's, it's, it's returning normal because there's nothing on that collection, right? I'm missing an empty collection. That's uh, what we would expect to get. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to add those files to our collection. Remember, we have file one, two, and three that are already on S3, um, but they're not really on the collection. So let's put them on our collection. And of course, I have another <laughs> command for that uh, on my beautiful notes here. Uh, again, uh, we're doing a post request. You see here, I specified the get request. Um, I didn't have to because of, because curl defaults to get, uh, but I did. Uh, <laughs> earlier on, I didn't, but uh, yeah. But for post request, I do have to specify that. So that's a post request, and we're doing add APFS, content add APFS. And this is just another endpoint you can use to add content to S3. Um, and then I give my, my file name, uh, calling it file one. I need to give it a root, which is the, the root CID of the file. So I gotta scroll up. And for file one, this is its CID. So I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna move back here and I'm gonna paste the CID here. And then on my collection, I actually need my collection unique ID. There we go, that's our UUID. So now we're gonna add this file, file one, and I'm going to give you the name of file one just, just for the sake of like, uh, it could be another name, but it's just so it's simpler. Uh, same file, same name. Uh, but now I'm, get, I'm going to add it to the collection we just created. Um, and then here we go. You can see the, that that is queued. Um, here's the CID, uh, the name of the file, and that's it. Now we can list the collection uh, again. And now when we list the collection, you can see that the file is there. We can actually list the file um, or list the contents of the collection and the file is there. Um, perfect. Again, collections really are buckets. It's, are, there are still kind of buckets of data at this point because although like now I can 
kind of like granularize a little bit more my data, you know? Um, but I, uh, I don't actually have a directory structure. Like I, I cannot have a collection inside a collection. So like if I want to have subfolders, uh, if, if we're calling a collection a folder, uh, I can't do that. At least not with the information we have so far, because again, there's no way to put a collection inside of a collection. So the best I can do with the information I have so far is create a bunch of collections. Let's say like for my document, I create a documents collection and then I put all my documents there, but I cannot subdivide further these documents in between like medical documents or like, um, I don't know, financial document. I cannot do that again with the information I have so far. So that's why collections can have paths inside them. So you can actually create a path inside of a collection. So let's add file two. So now I have file one. Let's add file two to a collection. So here I'm doing the same thing, posting to slash content slash add idea paths. But now I'm adding file two to it. And now I'm going to have to scroll up, get file two's CID. And here on root, I'm going to put it CID. The reason I used um, the collection with dollar sign here is because of quotes, um, because there's only one quote, but here it's surrounded by quotes. This, this part of the request is surrounded by quotes. So like putting a dollar sign um, and then the environment variable name wouldn't work um, because of the sh shell being weird, um, or actually being consistent. We're, we're trying to be weird here. But anyways, so basically I'm putting file two, which is this CID here, I'm naming it file two. I'm putting it inside our only, one and only collection so far. And I'm giving it now collection path. So this is an, an optional um, uh, field you can have an add IPFS. Um, and then you can actually add a path to the file inside of a collection. So in this case, I'm, I'm creating a folder foo and then inside of the folder, I'm creating another folder called bar. And then inside of that second folder, I'm putting my file there. Um, that's that's uh, what this means. So let me go ahead and hit enter. And this should work. Uh, again, let's list the contents of our collection. And now we can see file one is still there. But now we can see foo is a directory. So a directory was created inside of that collection. And then if you come back to this list collection uh, request we were doing, uh, we're worth specifying the collection here. And what we can do is we can uh, also specify, uh, oops, um, a directory with the dir um, field. So then I'm gonna do dir equals slash foo. And then if I hit enter, it's gonna list only the things that are inside foo, which is the directory bar. And then I can go back and do list foo slash bar. And then it's going to finally list file two. So we have foo, and then we have bar, and then we have file two. And then we can list things. And we can um, mix and match directories and files. The only thing we can't do is create empty directories, uh, because directories are basically created as we need. Uh, so if you have, like again, as, uh, as we did, if we have uh, foo slash bar, then we have a file. Then Esther is going to kind of create foo. And then inside of that, it's going to create bar. And then inside of that, it's going to put file. Oh, or file two, in this case, dot text. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I had to say. Um, this is not really a super uh, technical deep dive. It's just a bunch of like, uh, endpoint and how things work um, a little bit under the hood. I hope you liked it. And um, that's it. Um, keep posted for the links in our channel. Um, I'm going to release all, all the commands I just used on a nice little gist cheat sheet or gist. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you.